Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to understand, my friend. I feel amazing today. You got to feel it, my friend. I wish I could give it to you. I feel so amazing today. I feel like I can own today. And you know why? Because I expect to. I expect to feel amazing every day. I expect to get the best of everything out of life every day, every minute of the day. Now, what I got to do that's more difficult is align my intention up with it. Take the negativity, the hatred, all the jealousy and everything from life that it gives to me and keep myself aligned with that greatness. That's the difficult part, but you can do it, my friend. The better you know yourself, the better you can position yourself for success. So I'm challenging you today, my friend. Get up, get out here on this beautiful Sunday. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping. I'm feeling all of that. I'm feeling the butterflies. I'm feeling the worms. I'm feeling all of the birds chirp. Now you gotta feel this, my friend. Energy, 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 energy. Come and get that energy, my friend. Energy, energy, energy. Come and get that energy, my friend. It's all about the energy, right? Not just consuming it, but giving it out, my friend. So again, I learned this from one of my old pastors. He said, never give anybody anything that you wouldn't take yourself. So don't wait till your stuff get old and raggedy and then try to give it to somebody. No, give it to them while it's brand new. Give it to them while it's looking good. Same approach with your energy, my friend. Don't get out here if you're not ready. Don't get out here with negative intentions, negative energy. You know what I mean? You gotta be out here with emotional harmony, my friend. Loving everything that life brings at you. It may not all feel good, but you hang in there, my friend. You align your words, thoughts, and actions up with your truth. And you keep expecting to have the best of everything, the best mind, the best body, the best everything that you could possibly have. And before you know it, once you add that energy, 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 big, big, big energy, my friend, once you add that to it, you can't lose. And here's another thing, right? I got a great, great message for you today. Here's the other part that's gonna help you to be your very best self, my friend, to attract the best of everything, right? This is what you gotta do. You gotta connect the pieces, my friend. This life is a big puzzle. You gotta connect the pieces. Let me explain, right? See, anything in life that you see, feel, smell, touch, anything in life that attracts your senses, right? is significant to your life. Let's go deeper. Let me explain, right? See, everything you encounter in life, right? is a part of your life's puzzle. I don't care how strange it looks or sounds or feels, if you engage it or encounter it, it's a part of your life's puzzle. And let's go even deeper. Here's the thing, this is what you gotta do, my friend. You gotta keep matching and connecting the pieces so that you can see your life picture clearly. That's the goal, my friend. I come out here, I, int I have intention to be my very best, to feel my very best, to have my energy at ultimal every day, every aspect of my day, right? And I look and see what, what God sends me. I look at the position he puts me in and the universe can only shoot at me what I shoot at it. So I take all of the pieces that I got. He reminds me of other things that allow me to have powerful, great days each and every day. I come out with the intention of being amazing, not just normal, not just surviving. I expect to thrive every day in everything that I do, my friend. And you should too, right? You have that power. You just have to harness it, my friend, right? And here's three reasons why you gotta keep connecting the pieces, right? Number one, I know things may not be going the way you expect them to. I know you may not always feel optimistic, like you're gonna win. But this is what I do know, that life is indeed perfect. Whether you like it or not, it's perfect. Yeah, that thing that happened to you is all a part of God's perfect plan. But see, it's us. It's our imperfect nature as human beings that makes it difficult for us to accept the perfect life. But if you can get yourself to embrace life as perfection, right? 
you immediately eliminate 50% of your stress. No longer will you ever get caught up mentally thinking what could have, what should have, or what would have happened, my friend. Because when you embrace life as perfection, you also embrace that everything happens when, where, and how it's supposed to. Now try that on for a little while and watch how peaceful your life becomes, right? And then number two, so you gotta understand, right? That all of our lives, including you, especially you, cause I'm talking to you, my friend, your life is already designed for you to be successful. But of course you gotta do something too because faith without works is dead. So you could be the most spiritual person in the world, but you still gotta put some work, some effort into it. So your life is already designed for you to be successful, but this is what you gotta do. You gotta fully, not partially, not somewhat, you have to fully accept you. And then you have to totally, with everything in you, trust God. That's your assignment, my friend, and that gives you access to all of the power, to the energy, 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 energy. It gives you access to all that, right? And then number three, you got to develop a greatness mindset, a mind bold enough to believe, right? That life is always happening for you, not to you, regardless of what it may look like or feel like. So even when you're depressed, life is happening for you. Even when that person, when you go through that breakup, life is happening for you. Even when you lose that job, life is happening for you. You're just at a climax, but again, nothing comes without you doing something. You gotta be intentional that you're gonna win. You gotta be intentional that the game is not over until you win. And it's not when you're already feeling good. It's easy to be excited and all that when you feel good. You gotta do this when you're down in despair. You gotta do this when you feel terrible. You gotta do this when everybody counted you out. And that's my friend, that's how you win. So you get out here today and you win. Because I'm giving you all the formulas, my friend. And not only, this is not just a narrative. This is not just something that I'm pulling. I know I live it, my friend. I didn't have too many encounters with God. The man that sits on the throne, the great I am, the wonderful counselor, the author, and the finisher of our faith, my friend. So there's no excuses, right? Just don't forget this. Whatever you do, don't forget this. You were born to be great.